Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, I took a break from morning devotions yesterday, and I, I thought, well, I'm not going to do anything today either. And then the Lord woke me up as he's been kind of regularly lately. And I just wanted to write down a couple of quick things to share. This won't be a long one this morning, I, I, I don't think. So, um, first of all, I just want to put a tribute out there to uh, spiritual fathers in my life. Um, one such spiritual father that um, may not like him, may not think he's that, but I've appointed him <laughs> as my spiritual father, Pastor Jim Neese, uh, permission to speak into my life. It's hard to find one. And um, when you find one that you know cares about you, um, it's okay to have them speak into your life. And so, shout out to Jim today. Um, also, and you know, really in another way, uh, a man by the name of Dwight Smith, who really shaped me, probably doesn't see himself as someone who was a mentor to me, but uh, our spiritual father, but he was in this very real sense. And I mean that affectionately, who really ruined me in a good way in terms of my view of the church and, and how I wanted to see it to be different and what I wanted to see change in my own life and continue to have wrestled with those issues and ideas that, uh, of course, has made his organization do amazing things in the world, but also um, just kind of indirectly just still affects me. Uh, some of the things that uh, I learned from his class and, and from hanging out with him a little bit of time that I got to. And then, you know, I uh, I have to say, because I really couldn't find a spiritual father uh, throughout my journey that uh, most of my my um, my mentoring and my spiritual following came through good books, good books. Anybody who knows me, they have shaped my life in magnificent ways. They have made me what I am, men like C.S. Lewis and uh, J.D. Phillips and Malcolm Muggeridge and Robbie Zacharias and, um, and Paul F. M. Zoll and so many others that have impacted my life and their writings and have, have really shaped me and, and so many, so many um, Catholic writers, Orthodox writers, uh, Protestant writers, all having such good things to, to offer men who would follow Jesus on the narrow path. And so I'm thankful to those. I just want to say a couple of thoughts to in a call to the fathers, just as a challenge uh, to you also, not only a tribute to some fathers, but a, but a challenge. And that is to remember, um, first of all, children, let me say something to you, that um, fathers, um, real fathers and spiritual fathers, um, sometimes they come in the form of your own blood. Oftentimes they do not. Don't let that mess you up and say, because my father, real father, wasn't this or that, that, that I didn't really have a shot. Seek out and find someone who will be a father to you in your life. That's free advice. I also want to say a little something about my own attempt at, at fathering. Um, you know, I've really tried to um, be a good father. I've seen it as the highest calling in my life that if that if I didn't accomplish anything in this world, but that I was a good father, that this would be something that I could take with me. I hope you see that, fathers out there, as your highest calling outside of being fathered by the Lord Jesus Christ and, and being, a, um, uh, and being a, a father to sons and daughters, men, healthy father to sons and daughters, both in, in, in by getting uh, provision and, and guidance and shaping, encouragement and blessing, and, and also spiritual fathering to sons and daughters to be that kind of person that they can constantly look to and, and say, this person, may, they may not say anything good about you right now. They may not say much about you. May, maybe even sometimes you gave them some tough things that they had to chew on because you really needed to, um, and, and they have received a well to this day. They will come back. It may be in your passing. It may be at your eulogy, but they will come back and they will say that uh, they appreciated you being a father in their life. So I say that as, as just, uh, just an encouragement to you. And, and if, you've, if you've been a bad father up until now, 
it's okay. Stop today. Let Jesus come into your life and let him make you the kind of father he wants you to be, both to your sons and daughters that you may have messed up with and to others. Today's your day. Today's a good day as Father's Day for you to go out and be a good father to your kids, not just your physical kids, but every child, every son or daughter that you could touch, that you could impact, that you could bless, that you could encourage to go and be all that they can be in this life with Jesus at the helm. Gosh, it's such a high calling and so in need of today. I pray that today. I pray that'll be your prayer today. And lastly, I want to just say a tribute to the late Marion Laverne Prince. Um, my dad had a lot of a lot of struggles. He didn't have a good father. Grew up at the tail end of the Depression. His family was very poor. His uh, father um, ran off many times and left them. Uh, he, he, he would find Jesus later in his life, which is a tremendous blessing. Uh, he died when I was 13 years of age. And my father, Laverne, as he was called, um, was taught me so many things, um, but differently because we weren't really close. And, and, and by the time he really tried to get close to me, I was in this teenage turbulent years and going this way and that. But we did have some good years as he got older. And um, I want to honor him. I'll tell you today that my love of the scriptures, of uh, you know, pens, <laughs> day planners, uh, all those nerdy things, and books, my love of books came directly from my father. I, I, I used to have a library full. Now I still have a lot of them. But, um, but also, uh, because I saw him read the scriptures every day, guess what? I read the scriptures every day. Even when I was out there in all the craziness, wild child, raising Cain, um, I read the scriptures. I got that from my father. He passed it on to me by modeling his own life. And uh, he didn't make a lot of money. He was a postal worker uh, his retirement. and he, But he gave to his church. He served as an elder of his church as a lay preacher. He gave, if you were in prison, he visited you. Um, he gave, he picked up people off the uh, streets, which is not a good idea these days, but he did it back when it was, uh, back when it was not cool, uh, either. And, um, he just, um, he impacted me and he's in heaven now working with Jesus, finally getting a good night's sleep and I love him and um, I know I'm going to see him one day and I'm just so glad that he's at peace and rest. Happy Father's Day to you all, guys. God bless you, and have a great day.